na rin natin na sinasabi palagi na huwag kang makisama pero, pero pwede kang magi, makisama sa ganyang senaryo tayo po ay tinuturuan na magi maingat how to deal with so many people how to deal with having some transactions dahil pag hindi tayo naging maingat baka ipahamak tayo ng ating pinapasok magandang hapon sa ating lahat at tayo po ay nasa pag-aaral kasama ang squad 244 ng Philippine National Police Kapa, sa pangunguna po ni Patrolman John Lloyd Lazaro Police Staff Sergeant Ryan Garcia Police Staff Sergeant Adio Burgess Police Master Sergeant Will Ray Guillermo Police Senior Master Sergeant Joseph Aquino at si Police Lieutenant Edgar Iqban Kami po ay nagsama-sama uh, para pag-usapan ang lesson Establish Healthy Boundaries And it has been my warning sa maraming tao for many years Proverbs 1.10 Sabi ng Bible Anak ko, kung ikaw ay hikayatin ng makasalanan huwag mong tulutan Sinabi rin po ng unang Korinto 15.33 Huwag kayong padaya ang masamang kasama sumisira na magagal na ugali So what's there a time na tayo ay kinukumbinse ng sino man to do a thing and then you refused of course mainam na mat- malinaw sa atin yung ipinagagawa o yung nais nice na lang gawin natin dahil sa matinong pag-iisip ng kristyano you are able to refuse and why did you say no eh kasi nga ho alam natin hindi nakakabuti hindi nakakatuwa sa Panginoon at hindi makakaganda para sa ating pagkataong Matthew 5.37, datapot ang magiging pananilta mo ay oo, oo, hindi, hindi. Sapagat ang humigit pa rito ay buhat sa masama. So nais nice ng Diyos na tayo matuto ng boundary, preno. Proverbs 4.23, ingatan mo yung puso ng buong sikap sapagkat dinadaluyan ng buhay. So ang puso natin mga, kaya, mga kapatid ay determines the course of our life. And how do we establish healthy boundaries. Nabagit natin last time the a personal boundary is the defining line that marks where we begin. It is the thing na siya nagpapahiwalay sa atin, sa ibang tao. Not that we are feeling bossy or whatever, kundi that would separate us from others who has nothing to do with goodness. Pero tayo mga may takot sa Diyos, it defines what we have. So, we establish healthy boundaries because that's where we have authority over. At doon sa mga hindi natin kayang pangatawanan at hindi natin mapananagutan ng maayos. As our physical, psychological, emotional borders, yung personal boundaries natin, it sets the limits to what we can tolerate, to things that what we can accept. Una, boundary that we must establish is regarding on the belief, on the values. Yun ang pundasyon natin. That's why we need to guard our hearts. Ingatan natin natin puso. And ensure that what we believe, what we value, ay nakaangkla dun sa katotohanan ng salita ng Diyos. Secondly, is our personal identity. Sino tayo? And that's why it's important to have healthy boundary Because it prevents us from confusing our identity with someone else. It would also protect us from mindless, uh, herd mentality. Kung maga, uh, you are doing something na conflict sa iyong paninindigan at uh, pinaniniwalaan at pinapanagan at uh, hindi mo gagawin yun dahil uso lang, kundi kahit uso yun, but if it's against your value, hindi mo gagawin. So that's your personal identity. And it stands to reason that if you love health, you're going to hate germs. If you love flowers, of course you will hate weeds. If you love cleanliness, you will hate dirt. And if you love God, you and I will hate sin. Ang sabi pa ng Bible, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, 
So, ano ba yung worldliness? Ano ba yung sanglibutan? Makasanglibutan. And why should we, bilang Christ- Christian, should not love the world? It refers to the system of the world, not the people, but the system. And when we say it refers to the system of the world, it three reasons behind, because of the character of the world. Ano po yung character of the world? It is sinful. It, because of the corruption of the world, what it does, it only does sin. It entices us to commit mistakes and wrong and, and sin and uh, wickedness. And, uh, and then the, the system of the world is, it should not be loved because it's condemned because the world system is headed for hell. So we are responsible to prevent ourselves from overstepping sa buhay ng ibang tao na nanghihimasok tayo na wala sa lugar. When we are responsible, we are able to protect us from being used and allow us to say no dahil kailangan at siyang dapat. And it will help us be aware na we are expected to communicate with our friends and uh, loved ones, whoever uh, living with us, na ito ang dapat natin gawin. Sabi ng 1 John 4.1, it refers to that uh, teaching that we should not believe everyone who speaks by the Spirit, quote and unquote. We must test them. Checkin natin, yun ang sasabi sa atin, nagkumagabay sa atin. Even us, you can test us, you can check us through the Bible. Kung kami po yung tuturo ng lihis sa Biblia, o, o hindi ayon sa kasulatan. For there are many false prophets. So, we should be aware, lagi itong tayo sa tama. Be mindful of other people's boundaries. We should learn to respect other people's personal space. Huwag natin hipuin ang mga tao, huwag natin galawin ang mga tao that we do not know, na wala naman, uh, uh, hindi naman necessary. And let's keep a respectful distance when conversing with others. Mga simpleng bagay, we, we must accept it when family members, friends, and colleague, colleagues, we say no when we ask for a favor. Mato tayong mapahinuhudan. Dahil hindi po lahat ng gusto natin magagawa in our favor. Hindi lahat ng gusto natin makakuha, makamit, ay may bibigay sa atin. Because there are people who are in, they are not in the position to give what we need or we may be not in the position, in the same position, to give them what they need. So, sabi sa Philippians 4.5, Let your moderation be known unto all men, the Lord is at hand. Ito lang sinasabi ng Bible dyan. Let's be considerate. Sikapin natin, let's be uh, considerate to all men. Huwag natin sibukan na gawin yung di dapat gawin, pasukan ang di dapat pasukin. And uh, let's not create uh, havoc or chaos. Let us not create conflict na, na unnecessary. Malapit na dumating si Kristo. So let's check for signs of unhealthy boundaries. These are the examples. Let us try to accept what is good and right for us. Let's try to discard what is bad and wrong for us. Mga simpleng bagay. And this includes, ingatan natin ito, letting other people define us or direct our life. Liban may mga superior tayo, pero iba yung dinidiktahan ka na na wala sa lugar. Let us uh, be aware of talking at an intimate level with someone na ngayon mo lang nakilala. May mga tao ngayon nagkita, nagka, nagkabulat lata na lang mga lihim. So, ingatan natin. So, let us uh, be aware of allowing someone to take as much as they can from us. Yung they would take advantage of us. At papayagan nyo naman, mag-ingat tayo ron. Let's be aware of accepting something from others like food, gifts, or anything. Hindi lang dahil sa hindi ating gusto, kundi baka ito ay maging, alam mo na, may maging hindi magandang bunga. Let's be aware of going against our personal values just to please someone. Dapat dun tayo kung anong tama, dun tayo sa tama. And let us be aware of giving as much as we give for the sake of giving. Ingatan pa rin ho natin. Wala yung uh, assuming, kumbaga. Ingatan natin hipuin, uh, pakilaman, ang mga bagay na wala tayong karapatan. Galatians 6.3, sapagkat ko ang sinuman ay nag-aakala na siya ay may kabuluhan, bagaman siya ay walang kabuluhan, ang kanyang sarili ay dinadaya niya. Siya sa atin niya, ang kanyang sarili, 
ng bawat isa ang sariling gawa. So let's be aware. So let's practice positive separated life. Ingatin natin na tayo ay mapulaan. Let's be honest. And I've, I've had some experiences with the conflict and then later we had renewed friendship. And I've learned through the years some strategy that have been proven effective in facing difficult disagreements at uh, yung conflict in the IOS. For example, when we are in a disagreement, try to work hard to see the other point of view. Hindi lang atin ang pipilit natin. And that begins with listening. And uh, it includes in the formula that means you should be honest, you should be objective, objective, and with humility. And that's a full package of handling conflict God's way. None of us, talagang wala mga natural na magaling sa pagsalo ng problem, but they, they come to a full, full, full bloom as product of spiritual life. Dapat ando doon ang kaamuan, ando doon ang, uh, ang katapatan, at dapat objective ang lais natin mangyari. Secondly, when we are in, when both sides have validity, if you say they seek, we, we should seek a wise compromise. Parehas tama. Sa ating pinalaking uh, lahi tayo, na, kayo na mga tao na may mga magulang na sobrang stricto, na hindi sa inyo po pwede yung basta compromise, basta dun lang kayo. Meron kayong buto na panindigan sa isang bagay, that's, that's good. And you don't, you don't need to give up. And you stand firm regardless. And I appreciate individuals no, who would not be bended. Pero let's try to be the one who refuses to negotiate. Let's not be the one na tatanggi para magkaroon ng resolution na isang bagay. Let's be part of the solution. Be willing and graciously seek a suitable solution kung may mga disagreements. Hindi, hindi magkakompromise but kundi para mas masolve ang anumang conflict. And thirdly, when the conflict persists, kung meron talagang patuloy na, na conflict, you should care enough to work, to work it out, then walk out. Let's work it out, then walk out of it. No? So that's not how we handle our conflict. Pag-usapan kung pwede pahinga mo na, then balikan, upuan ulit, hanap tayong solution. So stay at solving, trying to find solution. It's some of the hardest work you will do, but it's also the most rewarding, mas maganda. So when, in, when, when uh, a thing cannot be solved or resolved, let's be gracious to agree and to disagree without being dis disagreeable. Si Paul and Barnabas, nangyari yan, hindi sila magkasundo. Finally, nagkiwala sila, pero magkaibigan pa rin. Nagkasama pa rin sila later. And so, tayo mga tao sa ating panahon, let's try not to be part of the problem. Let's try to be part of the solution. Sadly, some politics uh, geniuses sa ating panahon, wala nang ginawa, wala nang kinarir, kundi ang mambato na mambato, maghanap ng butas na may butas. Honestly, not all separations can lead to bad endings. There are times that we need to separate our ways. Some of the greatest sem seminaries were birthed from a crucible conflict. Some of the significant churches na naging instrumento ng Diyos sa maraming bagay ay nanggaling sa ugly split. It's never too early to start moving on. Sabi ni Philip Melanchthon, In essentials, unity. In non-essentials, liberty. In all things, charity. So we are not to be isolated, but insulated, sabi ni Vance Havner. So moving in the midst of evil, but untouched by evil. Sabi ng Panginoon, si Kristo, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, Hebrews 7.26, yet he was a friend of tax collectors and sinners. So, inilagay niya sarili niya sa mga tao, inialo niya, pero hindi siya nahihipo ng karumihan. Na siya malinis, nakapanindigan. So in closing, let, let us be a thermostat, not a thermometer. A thermostat is the thing that dictates the environment. Thermostat, siya yung gusto mainit, pihitin mo, gusto malamig, pihitin mo. Siya nagdidikta. But a thermometer is the one being dictated. Kung ano paligid, ganun siya. So by God's grace, let us be the prime mover of righteousness. And uh, 
and uh, bagay na nakakalugod sa Diyos. That's how to have healthy boundaries. God bless us all and stay safe and give you peace until next time.